Hey folks, I'm really excited. We have a great demo today from Lisa at LiveRamp, all about how LiveRamp has built a native application on Snowflake. Lisa, it's great to have you. Thanks for having me, excited to be here. So let's dive into the demo. Let's do it. So um, today we're going to see how to resolve identifiers within your Snowflake environment using our native app. From there, we're going to show segmentation of that data and activation into the ecosystem. Okay, so in this scenario, I am going to be, I'm gonna be an analyst. And my role is really to take an audience data table, make sure we have the right data associated, the right attributes included, and then I wanna consolidate that data to a person-based view. And I'm gonna pass it over to the marketing team to then activate into the ecosystem. So let's see what we're working with here. So you can see our data table has a number of um, customer data attributes. Let me scroll up a little bit. And you can see across PII, first name, last name, address, we have some demographic information, and then some model data even with customer lifetime value. So we're gonna look at, for demo purposes, resolving 8,000 records today. My organization has access to LiveRamp's native app for identity resolution. So the first time you open this up, there's a couple of setup steps. You point the native app to the appropriate input table and you create a share back with LiveRamp for metrics purposes. So I've already done that over here. So let's use what I've previously set up with appropriate parameters. Oops, and I missed one there. And then we're gonna set the name of the output table. And the name here is going to be demo v2. Um, and then we're gonna point everything to the appropriate database. And these are just the setup steps that need to happen initially. From there, we're gonna go ahead and execute against our identity resolution call. And so this enables us to run those PII touch points through the LiveRamp identity graph. It'll take a few minutes to spin up, so we're gonna keep moving with being able to look at a table I have already created, and we'll come back in a few minutes and check out the results. So here, let's take a look at what was processed. So we processed 8,000 records, that's great. That was the number we initially put in. Let's look at the distinct ramp IDs. So when we take a look at the unique ramp IDs within the data set, it's actually only 5,000 of those records. And so that's a data consolidation rate of like 37%, pretty incredible but not out of the realm of possibilities. We were recently working with a, a major retailer and across all of their different data sources, they saw a data consolidation rate of 50%. Wow. Yeah, really incredible. And that translates to more accurate insights, more accurate customer data modeling, and it translates to less media waste downstream, right? Every, every dollar counts these days, uh, and by being able to ensure you're reaching the right person at the right time, you're able to get higher ROI from your ad spend. So let's take a look at the output table. You can see same attributes we were looking at before, but instead of the PII, we now have ramp ID associated to those attributes. So awesome, we have consolidated the data and we are ready to share with LiveRamp. So we're gonna go ahead and share with LiveRamp. We are gonna use this column in a little bit, the lifetime value, so pointing that out now. Okay, so from here, as the analyst, I'm gonna let the marketing team know their data is ready to go. And they can come into our UI. They say, I, I wanna build a segment today. And we're gonna build a segment against low lifetime value customers. And I'm very creative in my naming here. The, the beauty of the segment builder is really the flexibility that it offers for our clients. So you can build a segment off of the linked table, you can build combination segments, and then you're able to kind of pick the, the appropriate table that we were just looking at. 
and it reflects the attributes we've been seeing. So lots of flexibility in terms of what lives in your environment coming into the UI. So we're gonna look at lifetime value customers less than 500. That was around the midpoint of what we had previously. Okay, so the segment is saved and now we wanna activate immediately. So in here, I'm gonna create a new activation bundle. And you can see this is what we, we just created. Within this screen, you can choose one or multiple segments to go to your destination of choice. And here, this is our, this is our demo destination, but I do wanna show kind of all of the destinations that are possible with this new offering from us. So we have a number of destinations here available, and in the upcoming couple of months, we are going to double the number of destinations for our customers so they can activate to their preferred destination of choice. So we'll choose this one, and then we'll, we'll say this is our lifetime value segment, and uh, let's say that was going to Facebook. We're gonna do a manual refresh rate and at the individual level. And from there, we have activated. So incredibly exciting and end-to-end, -end, a very seamless process that took minutes, which uh, is, is really incredible. Let's take a look back at what we were running from an identity resolution perspective and see how we did. And so, great, we can see the table is now available. I'll actually refresh the screen to see the output in our database over here, and it shows up within the native app. We can see the tables here now. So really exciting, I think, within the end-to-end -end process, we enable our clients to safely and effectively consolidate data, to activate to their preferred destination of choice, and end-to-end, -end, it can happen very, very seamlessly and quickly. Lisa, that was a great demo. I love learning about how you've built this native application on Snowflake. It really seems like it's a game changer for your customers and how easy it is to access LiveRamp. Absolutely. So where should people go to learn more about LiveRamp? Sure. Well, we're available on the Snowflake Marketplace, so feel free to check us out there or reach out to snowflake at liveramp.com and we would love to chat through use cases. Fantastic. So folks, if you want to learn how to build your next application on Snowflake, check out developers.snowflake.com. And if you want to see the full interview today with Lisa, check out the link below. My name is Daniel Myers. See you next time.